some would say I've gone overboard. I think most would say I've gone overboard. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. Today, we have a lot of lights to install. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. In my last video, I installed this new to the market roof rack. This roof rack is made for the Ford Expedition and it is made by Kingdom Overlanding. Link down below if you wanna get it. So today is a light day. So let's check out what we're doing. As you can see, Kingdom Overlanding designed the roof to have two 10 inch LEDs on the side for side lights. There's a huge front fairing that he put KC lights on. I've got a big light bar, 52 inch light bar. Again, on this side, there's space for 10 inch. And then obviously I tow my trailer with this baby. So I'm gonna put a spotlight on the rear. So let's check out all the lights I purchased to get this project done. We have a grand total of five lights, two for the side, two for the other side, one for the back, a huge straight 52 inch LED. Then we got an aux beam control panel so I can put all the lights. And then I have, a winch mount already in the front let's check that out quick right here this winch has a light barbed up top and then two lower lights I installed some terrible little switches that keep falling off of here so I'm gonna replace these switches add it to the new switchboard and put the new control panel right here let's jump into assembling these lights this will be the rear this will be the front and then side side what I'm gonna do is quickly mount all of these on the roof rack now now, if you watch my last video you would have seen before I installed the roof rack I did pre-drill the holes for the 10 inch light bar I didn't do the front because I didn't want to mess with that antenna so I will be doing that now but let's mount these first and then the fun starts we jump into the wiring well guys and maybe one girl this is looking epic I got one back there two on the sides and now I'm gonna work on the front the front's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt but if uh, if it's too difficult you know it's only six bolts to take it off so maybe I'll take it off once I figure out how high it needs to be but we'll see man obviously the wiring is not done this is the easy part this is just bolting it on I don't know if that one needs to be higher I didn't want it above the rack I could put it on here uh, or move this X bar down here, but then it gets interfered with the trunk. So that's where it's gonna stay right now. But anyways, let's jump onto the front. I decided to leave it up there. What I did is I made a wood template marked out where the bolt holes need to be and I'm gonna drill them. Now, they are right on the corner here. The light is like half inch too big, but we're gonna make it work. Check out the front. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, some would say I've gone overboard. I think most would say I've gone overboard. <laughs> I've upgraded those lights, upgraded those lights. Yeah, I didn't necessarily get these lights. It just came with the winch mount. So, you know, so that big bar. Ideally, I would have wanted it a bit lower, the same height as the roof rack, but I couldn't have mounted it closer to here because when you screw right here, the back of this bolt is sticking through. So anyways, looks good. I don't think I'm gonna wire it today. I think I'll work on wiring tomorrow. That way I'm fresh minded. Yeah, wiring. It's just tedious, but it's fun. So three lights will come down here. The wire will come. I'm gonna try to fit it in between here. And then on the other side, it's essentially the same. So three lights will come down here. Now I'm gonna take it for a spin just to get all this aluminum shavings off. It is the next day. It is, well, it got down to 28 degrees last night. I don't feel like freezing my butt off and getting sick. So I am in the garage where there's a lot of light compared to yesterday's video. And let me show you what we're gonna be doing. So currently I have these two switches. They were attached here. They control the lights on the winch mount here. I need to remove those because this baby's gonna go there. The aux beam six bang controller. If you wanna get one of these, there is a link down below and I'm gonna mount this right here. So I will be able to do the two lights in the front, uh, the big one on the top roof rack, left, right, and the rear. So this will be everything I need and it will be maxed out. Now, I don't envision adding anything else. I got six different light switches. Uh, I don't need anything else. 
I have an air compressor that I keep in the camper that I move back and forth. Anyways, let's see what the wiring will look like. So right in here is where I was able to fish those two wires through the firewall there. They just run across the front there and whatever, around about here somewhere. So I'm gonna remove those. And then this is the new switch panel. It looks relatively easy. I didn't even keep the box, I threw that away. So maybe I need to go find that. But we have the power cable and then you can wire all the different lights to this actual box. Obviously you can choose what size fuse you want. They give you all the fuses, they give you this fuse. This wire runs into the dashboard that plugs into the control. Let's get figuring out where we can mount this and then let's remove the old wire while fishing this one through. I have taped uh, the wire off, cut these off, and now I'm just gonna pull it through. And here it comes. All right, it looks good in there. Now I'm gonna fish this wire to the other side. All righty, I've got the switch uh, wire wiring harness right here. Now to figure out where we can mount the main switch box. So this is where I'm going to mount it. There is a bolt that I'll show you once it's mounted that goes here. This ground wire for this box was about 10 feet long. So I just cut it and, you know, put this connection on here because I'll ground it right here. This is a, a positive to an accessory. I don't need this to work on an accessory, so I'm not going to use this wire. The reason for that is I want to be able to turn the lights on when the car is completely off and no um, accessory switch is on. Now let me get this mounted and I'll show you what I've done. Well, that is firmly mounted there. Now I can connect this to the <clears throat> switch panel and then I can start giving it power and see if we got power at the switch panel all right so we have the ground grounded right there and then the lead that you can either make for an accessory wire into the fuse box it does include one of the fuse tops uh, fuse box tapper inners but since I want mine to work on the battery all the time you just rewire that to the positive let's see if the control has power Alrighty, so the control has power. Oh, well this is kind of a problem. I guess if those back lights are always on, maybe I need to hook it up to the fuse. Let me uh, get back to you on that. That looks like it's gonna be a problem. That light does not turn off. That is silly. They should have an option where you can turn off that back light. Anyways, I had these old switches wired directly to the battery and these lights were on all the time, but these are tiny little uh whatever two lights right that has two lights per switch so obviously the led they shouldn't draw much i shouldn't have a problem but i just don't want them on all the time so i'm actually going to change it to wire to the fuse box so let me do that and we'll see where it takes us next right so apparently ford has tiny tiny fuses and uh like these are mini fuses they have tiny fuses so this doesn't work there is a fuse box right under here so i just tapped into the fuse box right here because neither of them had normal size fuses now this is work uh, working with the ignition now the first project is to make sure i can wire these lights the front winch lights they had their own relays and whatnot and fuses but now i believe i can delete all of that and hook them up here so i'm gonna figure that out so i can make sure everything's working here and then we can start that baby i have wired the front lights both of them we've got the light bar here and then the two lower lights so what i've done here just until i figure out where the grounds are going to be i just put a temporary ground joining them all but the positives all go into this uh, bank right here so let me just show you what I've done with this switch here as well. I have mounted it right here, and then uh, these are the switches I've chosen for the front lights for now. So as you can see, they're on. Now I'm gonna start getting all those wired, bring the wire down into the fuse box. Anyways, this is gonna be a lot of wiring. I will get it done, and then I'll show you all the wiring. I'm not gonna show you the process of wiring because that's boring. So, in a couple seconds, you'll see the wiring done. Probably be three hours for me. That was about three hours. Let me show you what I've done. All right, so all the wires come in here. They all 
join up to the junction box and then I've grounded them to the frame here. I zip tied the wires up there for now just to make sure I like everything. Unfortunately, there's a wire hider made just for this kind of a project, but I can't get it for two weeks. So this is what it's gonna look like for now. Maybe it'll work, but let's get on top and see how the wiring looks. So if you can see there, there's the wiring. Uh, obviously it works. So here is the switch panel. Let me get the keys. The keys are in my pocket. Alrighty. So now that turns on and so how this works is you can choose which ones you want on and there's the master kill switch and then they'll all turn on or you can just turn one on individually. So let's take a walk around the outside now and see what it looks like. All right, so there are those. There's that one, those are on, and the rear. So all I gotta do now is put the stickers on. Unfortunately, they don't have two sides. They have many that say rear or backup, but not two sides. So I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna take this baby outside because it is seven o'clock. Be honest, who noticed the problem before I did? Leave it in the comments below, but here is the problem. Well, was the problem. I installed the box too close to the strut and the hood wouldn't close. So luckily this bolt was long. I just put a spacer behind it and kept that bolt. Let's see if it closes. All good. Well, you know, can't be perfect. Most of the time I am perfect though. I'm gonna take this baby for a spin and let's see it light up the world. Alrighty guys, well, I don't know. It must have been 30 minutes of driving around. This is the darkest place I can find, a church. But there's still a light over there. New headlight, oh no, that's not it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, that's good. Let's go with the left side. Oh damn. Let's go with the rear. Yeah, so I knew that would happen. It's because it's touching right there. Damn, these are bright. But uh, that's fine. I don't need it to shine right here. All right, so these are the original front ones. Uh, the added front ones I put. Okay, so there's the little LED bar. Here are the fog lights. Here are the big lights. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, well, let's turn them all on and see what it looks like. All right, I must say, these are pretty damn bright. Kinda wish they had a wider throw, but uh, I could achieve a wider throw by changing the mounting bracket and bringing it closer to the edge but man oh man that is a looking a sweet anyways it's late i gotta go home all right guys so this is just the normal view with just the regular headlights on and i've upgraded the headlights a lot let's uh just turn on the side here yeah so i mean this does a lot. <laughs> I can't see anything down there. Now I can. So I think these are dope. The car driving here now. Let's just turn it on. Check it out. Yeah. Obviously they two different they're pointing two different ways. And check the front out. This is the big bar. And then those are all my front lights <laughs> and the back light. Anyways, let's head back to the garage. Well guys, what do you think? That is awesome, exactly what I wanted. I'll do a kind of little tweaks later at night when I can position the lights exactly how I want them. But guys, thanks a lot as always for tuning in. Be sure you like, subscribe, share this video to somebody that has less lights than me so they can buy some more. Um, and yeah, guys, until next time, I'll see you then. Don't forget to leave a comment so you can get your free entry to win some Sonic Tools. Until next time, guys, I'll see you then.